Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today uh, I wanted to give you a little update about the fixtures, so uh, the chances, so the possibility to play um, play out, play out. Uh, nothing to say at the moment because we've got no matches ahead according to the fixtures. Let's just update the page and make sure yes there's no uh, upcoming match at the moment so um, I don't see how uh, or I don't see how we are supposed to play the playouts uh, at least not at the moment so we are supposed to stay here within this league for the next season uh, um, for the next season so yeah it's going to be somewhat hard i think we'll make less mistakes than we did this season but um all in all uh, i think it's going to be hard because of course the opponents have got uh, very good strikers and very good goalkeepers and that's the most important bit of every team unfortunately the opponents could uh, see this could notice this um, and uh, since we are trying to follow a different kind of path, mm, we are we are somewhat paying this kind of choice. But uh, in the future, uh, well, theoretically, in the long run, we'll have more advantages than than they currently have, and they will ever have. So uh, let's go quickly over some new players we might want to scout there we go so uh, 18 years of age three stars potential but one and a half already which is not too bad defensive midfield left crossing skills are not bad um, strength and stamina are not bad at all uh, quite good techniques good um, work rate is somewhat low and defending skills are quite good uh, the problem is heading skills so to be honest in this player I don't see a great player uh, in particular because of the work rate so I I'm afraid this is not this guy is not suitable for our team and not for the B team either so let's go to the next one uh, 18 years of age three and a half stars potential very nice Defensive midfield right, so crossing skills are, are low, and the work rate is not fully acceptable. I have to say, we might want to sell him, but three and a half stars uh, will probably take a while to be reached, and I'm not sure if we have all that time to wait uh, for this guy to. Uh, to go as strong as three and a half stars um, let's keep him here for for a second but <clears throat> I don't see a great player here I'm afraid uh, quite the opposite here for some midfielder center four and a half stars 17 years of age good physical skills work rate is not extremely important what's bad about this is the is the positioning and then the technique is quite good for a 17 years uh, pl old player. And he's got two high defending skills, like uh, eight points with marking, six with tackling, f five with heading is not too high, but still uh, passing is not impressive. Long shots are not impressive. Finishing uh, is low. Uh, but this four and a half stars potential tells me that we are supposed to get at least three and a half stars here. Um, so why not? I'd say why not? This potential might pay off in a while. Whilst this kind of player, despite being not that bad, uh, I mean three and a half stars are, are not are not enough uh, even because this is the maximum potential 
which means he'll get these three and a half stars at his peak uh, unless he's got five points with uh, professionalism which is not huh, which is not 100% sure um, well let's have a look at how professional he is so Boracino let's open him so let's scout these guys with Quidditchy of course our best scout no special professionalism so he's not going to become a champion uh, he's still going to reach in my opinion three and a half stars at least so let's train him with tactical drills I'm probably finishing when we're done with uh, the tactical stuff or probably finishing skills directly uh, Lamelotto so where's he finishing already alright perfect then Borracino <coughs> let's scout him hopefully at least this one guy has got good professionalism no low professionalism which means I'm afraid you've got you haven't got enough potential for us and that is it guys so um, very quick look of what at what our next season will look like hopefully we'll be able to get our 10th position uh, we'll have stronger a stronger goalkeeper thanks to increased routine a stronger defense thanks to the same factor and um, we'll keep all of the best attacking uh, all of the best strikers we've got and attacking players in general and all of the midfield so in my opinion at least at the beginning of the season we might be able to collect a fair amount of points uh, taking us to sort of uh, safety uh, uh, sort of a safe shore so to say um, so that's the expectations and uh, that's the youth scouting and hopefully you enjoyed this video guys and see you in the next one for more updates so uh, we'll see we'll meet again on Monday for uh, for new sponsor deals and uh, for a little update about the upcoming season uh, unless there is a match tomorrow evening in that case we'll we'll see each other again uh, uh, tomorrow evening for a new lineup so thanks a lot again for watching of course and see you in the next video bye